Have you ever tried to catch a lizard before? How many of you have actually caught a lizard before? Now it's time to be honest. How many of you caught half a lizard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we hate when that happens, huh? The lizard that I brought to show you is this lizard right here. This lizard is the big scary looking lizard with a very funny name. This is a chuckwalla. It sounds like a guy's name, really, huh? I mean, I, and I know what's going to happen someday. I'm going to be watching TV and they're going to get up. And now up to bat from Walla Walla, Washington, the second baseman, Chuck Walla. <laughs> the crowd will go wild. I'll be like, that thing is out of here. <laughs> Hi, Wild Mountain Phil. How about playing any reptiles survive in the desert? Wonderful question. And to answer that, we need to go to... The Sonoran Desert! 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 desert. desert. And the perfect example for this is a chuckwalla. The chuckwalla is a lizard that lives in the desert, but it eats plants. Now, he doesn't like cactus, he likes leaves and flowers. But what does he do in the middle of the summer when there's no leaves or flowers on the plants? You see, the chuckwalla plans ahead. It comes out in the springtime when there are lots of leaves and flowers and eats as much as it can. And when it gets full, it doesn't stop eating. The extra food that it eats, it turns into fat that it stores in its tail. So that during the summertime, He's got some supply. So he plans ahead, saves it for later. I do the same thing. I just put it right here. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Chuck Walla here. We're going to see if we can get it to look cute. We're just going to put it right here. Put your hand right there. Oh! I heard it. It's cute. Isn't that wild? 